Welcome back guys, Rick here with your next Two Minute Tuesday. And if you notice, we have two of us today. That's right guys, I wanna welcome to our TBK9S family. Ray! Oh gosh, forgive her, she's new guys, all right? <laughs> but she'll get with it sometime soon. So we just brought Ray on board. She has a lot to offer to the team here and she's gonna to bring tons of love to your dogs here. So, this week, if you caught the clip that we just inserted, did you see Bourbon? Yeah, you guys remember him, right? Well, did you see him in slow-mo? That actually wasn't slowed down. That's really the speed he moves at. Bourbon is a German short hair pointer. And this week, I want to talk about genetics. So let's drop that clock in three, two, one, go. Pure genetics in a dog is something that can be sometimes enhanced and sometimes it just can't be taken away. I use Bourbon for an example here is because he's a pointer. By nature, from birth, he's been trained, let me, oops, let me say that again, he's been ingrained because of the dog he is to chase and or point out birds. The action you just saw him do is something he's done from the day I got him. I didn't train him to do that slow-mo pointing motion. It's something that he naturally does. I use that feather to mimic a bird, so later on when he goes to hunt training, he goes, oh yeah, I remember this. So that's something that's genetic in him. Now there's also poor genetics or bad genetics, things like nervousness, fearfulness. Today we had a bunch of dogs into our facility for evaluations that a lot of them exhibited some of those signs. Some of those things can be rehabbed, modified, or so forth, but sometimes they honestly can't. They just can be controlled and or helped a little bit is the best way. Make that dog get a better decision than the one he's choosing now, right? Right. Wake up. I don't know if she's gonna make it, guys. What do you think? <laughs> Anyhow, back to our genetics real quick because that timer is about to run out and let's face it, I never make it. I don't even know why I put it up anymore. So, genetics is something that we can sometimes manipulate a little bit here. Think about your healer or your herder that's chasing and nipping at the heels, right? Genetics. Think about that terrier that's chasing after small little rodents. Genetics. Think about that dog that's just fearful from the day you brought it home or the day it was born. Did you make it that way? No, it had the best life in the world. You gave it all the love, you gave it the best food. You didn't make it that way. Genetically, the dog was fearful from the day it was born. So don't take anything out on yourself. It's not something you created. It's just something the dog has by nature. Now there's a ton of things we can do to help prevent this or actually manipulate it is best way to describe it again. Confidence building exercises, strong leadership and structure. That's one big key thing in a dog's life. Anyhow, let's get back to a nice fun event. Remember that canines and coffee we have coming up? February 22nd, 22nd Street. All those twos, you can't forget it. It's almost completely, who is this? Anyhow, <laughs> it's almost completely booked. There's only a few slots left. And our 2020 Train Your Dog Challenge. This time it's recall. Let's see some video, guys. Diggle really set the mark last time with the place challenge at the dog park. So now let's up the game. Let's see who takes the championship this week with the recall challenge. I really hope you enjoy this video, guys, and we'll see you next week with the next Two Minute Tuesday. Bye-bye now. Bye.